Hello everyone, welcome to the Weekly Bees. A couple of props here. These are from our friends Alta Kumpu, who we've done a lot of work with over the, um, the last nine years. Um, but it really links to the question we've got today, which is how can managers leverage principles of behavioral economics to influence positive change? And the reason I'm using Alt Kumpu is because we've worked with them on creating an academy uh, for human performance, which has had fantastic results for them as an organization, as people. And a lot of it was us working with them to help them understand how can they influence people to do what they need them to do. So in terms of collaborative performance. And we came up with a concept. Concept is uh, a model and we call it STEAM. So kind of STEAM power for, uh, for influence. And what does STEAM mean? Well, so S in STEAM is you've got to make it social. And this is really interesting. You see this all the time. Louis Vuitton and all these cool shops always create queues out the front because it's about social pressure, that, oh, fear of missing out, I've got to be there. So make it social if you want to influence someone. T, make it timely. You know, classic one is see your manager coming back, they slam the door in their office. That's probably not the right time to go and ask for a pay rise. So making sure you pick the time to influence someone is, is great. E, I think this is the most important one. If you want anyone to do anything, make it easy for them. So as a leader, if you want someone to do something, make it easy for them to do it. A, that's attractive. It's got to be attractive. And so you've got to look at how do you motivate someone to do that? Or it's going to be good for their career. What's in it for me? That's what that's about. And then finally, M for messenger. Who is the right messenger to actually convey what you want done? It might not be you. It might actually be someone else in your team. Classic example, if we look at environment, there's two messengers out there that people know. Sir David Attenborough, who they all respect and love. But from a generational perspective, it might be Miss Thunberg, because she's of that certain generation. She's been heavily influential with the younger generation out there, and she's the right messenger for that. So STEAM, if you want to learn more about it, come and speak to us. Uh, they're fantastic levers for influence. Thanks again to Alt Kumpu, our clients, doing a fantastic job. We look forward to speaking to you next week on the Weekly Bees.